Today's video is all about business profiles on Instagram. For those of you who don't know, my name is Amanda and I am a social media marketing coach. And this YouTube channel is all about helping you build your brand using social media. So yeah, we were just downtown St. John's taking some pictures with little Bella, my sister. Hello. <laughs> she has been taking like all of my photos. So you guys go share extra love on my Instagram account and just comment on her photography skills because she is awesome. And I'm also going to I'm also going to leave her photography Instagram in the description box below. Make sure that she is active on there because I think that she is great. I think that she has great potential, but she's not using it. She posts like once a month, so let's try to change that, huh, bro? I've been posted since 2017. Okay, so once a year. Sick. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, and a funny story. So we were downtown <laughs> taking pictures, and my dog, Bella. Yeah. She's just so cute. We were walking across the street, and as she was walking in the middle of the street, she started to squat to poop and literally pooped in the middle of all the traffic. Everyone around us was dying laughing, and it was so funny, but also a little bit embarrassing. But yeah, so that's our funniest story time for today. Wow. So like, yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Well, I see it all the time. Me and Brooke, my sister, were actually just talking about it, and that's why I decided to whip out my phone and take a quick video for you guys. And it's all about people hating on the business profile on Instagram. I personally changed mine over. I have another account that I also changed over to a business profile. And um, the main concern is people saying that Instagram kind of flags you or shadow bans you and basically lowers your engagement. It takes you off, It the algorithm affects you a little bit more and you're not popping up in people's feed. My main concern with that is that might be happening but ever so slightly. And I'm gonna be really harsh here. The problem might just be your content. <laughs> so it may alter the engagement a little or the benefits of having a business instagram profile definitely outweigh that lower amount of engagement <clears throat> so you can easily change any instagram profile to a business profile as long as you have a facebook page oh there's my little dog in the background i forgot to introduce her bella <laughs> so yeah we were actually just downtown st john's and we were taking some photos and stuff from instagram so if you guys don't follow me there make sure you check it out at amanda m squires i post content every single day and it's just like a behind the scenes of making my business and starting my business and following along with you guys so anyways basically the main benefits of having a business profile that i consider when it comes to my clients as well as for my own page and when talking to friends and family as well about it um, isn't even the time because it does show when people are engaged with you, but it's actually the demographics So it shows you if you're truly reaching your target audience It'll give you location of your followers the gender of your followers the age of your followers And that really just allows you to evaluate whether or not you are reaching your niche Which we talked about in previous videos and again, I'll link that up and around and the other thing is too, you can see the analytics of your post, which is so, so, so crucial. So the analytics are crucial. So basically what you can do is go on to every single individual post or your Instagram page in general, see how many clicks you're getting, see how many people are viewing it, and then seeing the engagement rate. So seeing how many people actually see your post and don't click like or don't comment and then you can kind of alter it and see what really works well for your audience and what doesn't work well. So overall, I think that the business profile is a great move and I think that you should definitely do it if you have a Facebook page and of course if you have a business or brand that you're using Instagram to promote. And even though it might change the engagement a little bit, I think that it's definitely worth it when you get the analytics. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course if you did make sure to comment and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.